we are asked to complete the table looking at the first row, we are given z equals negative four and the expression two minus three-fourths z. We are asked to determine the expression to evaluate the result and the associated equation. So beginning with the given expression two minus three-fourths z, because we are given z equals negative four, we begin by substituting negative four for z, which gives us the expression two minus three-fourths times negative four, which is the expression we need to evaluate, which goes in the cell here. Now following the order of operations, we multiply before we subtract. To help us multiply, let's write negative four as a fraction with the denominator of one, which gives us the expression two minus three-fourths times negative four over one. Before multiplying, let's simplify. Notice the numerator and denominator share a common factor of four. There's one four and four here, as well as here. The product now simplifies to three times negative one, which is negative three, giving us the expression two minus negative three. And subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive. Two minus negative three is equivalent to two plus three, which is equal to positive five. So the result is positive five. The associated equation is formed by setting this expression equal to the simplified expression of five. And therefore the associated equation is two minus three-fourths times negative four equals positive five. Next we are given z equals five. Now we substitute five for z. So beginning with the expression two minus three-fourths z, we substitute five for z, which gives us two minus three-fourths times five which is the expression we need to evaluate, which goes here. Let's write five as a fraction with the denominator of one, which gives us two minus three-fourths times five over one. Again, we multiply before subtracting. Nothing simplifies here, and therefore we multiply the numerators and denominators, which gives us 15 fourths. The expression simplifies to two or two over one, minus 15 fourths. I wrote two as a fraction with the denominator of one because notice how now we have to subtract. In order to subtract, we do need a common denominator. In this case, the least common denominator is four and therefore we need to write two over one as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of four by multiplying the numerator and denominator by four. Notice now we do have a common denominator of four and the numerator is now going to be eight minus 15. Notice the two times four gave us this eight. And eight minus 15 is equal to negative seven. The expression simplifies to negative seven fourths, which is the result. And therefore the associated equation is two minus three fourths times five equals negative seven fourths. And for the last row we are given z equals one and therefore now we substitute one for z, which gives us two minus three-fourths times one. This is the expression we need to evaluate. Three-fourths times one is three-fourths, giving us two or two over one minus three-fourths. Again, the least common denominator is four. We multiply the numerator and denominator of two over one by four. And now we do have a common denominator of four and the numerator is eight minus three. Eight minus three is equal to five. The expression simplifies to five-fourths, which is the result. And therefore the associated equation is two minus three-fourths times one equals five-fourths. I hope you found this helpful.